Many people are flat on their back for up to a week uh, with muscle pains and fever and feeling crummy, and it is a big deal. This year we've heard a lot about preparing for the threat of a new flu strain. And while few people have been infected with avian or bird flu, this winter as many as 50 million Americans will get other more common forms. If you think it's not serious, you're wrong. According to the CDC, more than 200,000 people are hospitalized every year from flu complications. 36,000 die, even though the season is already in full gear. It can last through spring, so it's good to know what you can do to fight the flu. <coughs> I've had the flu and it made me feel like, like a train hit me. Uh, a lot of body aches, joint aches. I stay in bed most of the time. I didn't feel like getting up. The evidence is everywhere, from the drugs on the nightstand to the empty tissue box. Flu season is here. <laughs> 10 to 20 percent of the U.S. population can get infected with influenza every year. It's one of the biggest killers of mankind, believe it or not. Say, uh -huh. Flu can strike anyone, but its most common victims are the very young, people aged 65 and older, healthcare workers, and people with chronic health conditions. I just feel terrible. Although no one enjoys having the flu, many people would rather take their chances getting it than get a shot of protection. days after getting the flu shot, I came down with the worst flu I've ever had. But experts say the connection is just coincidence. They may blame that on the vaccine, but it's not causal. They are. And if adults are reluctant to get a shot, kids are even harder to convince. They start the crying and the kicking and you have to start the writhing and the uh, strong arm and you're gonna go. <coughs> we know that schools are the big place that children are put together they transmit flu to themselves and then take it home to the community. Now needle folds can have no fears. A nasal vaccine called flu mist offers a painless option for patients between the ages of 5 and 49. It's a novel way of giving a vaccine and it's given at the point where you get the flu in your nose. Flu germs enter the body through the nose and begin to multiply. By applying the vaccine directly at the point of infection, it can take out the virus before it has a chance to spread. It sets up a little um, infection in your nose, and your body protects you against that and makes antibodies in your nose and throat against the flu. Flu, flu mist is actually made from a live virus, but it's weakened, so it won't make you sick. It won't grow at body temperature, so it, it, will, it will grow in your nose, which is cooler than your, the rest of your body, but it will turn off as it gets further down. A study by the National Institutes of Health found the nasal vaccine was 85% effective in preventing flu in adults and almost 90% effective in children. If you can interrupt flu in the schools, you might have a big, big shot at interrupting it in the community. For procrastinators and people yeah. allergic to the vaccine, some antiviral drugs like Tamiflu and Relenza can help even after the flu starts. While the CDC says these two drugs remain effective, Two other antivirals, amantadine and rimantadine, are no longer helpful against this year's strain and should not be prescribed. As a patient, you need to make sure you get drugs that can work. And the earlier you would start those, the more likely they are to decrease your symptoms in the number of days that you are feeling ill. Of course, the trick is recognizing that it is the flu and not just a cold. Sometimes it's very difficult to tell the difference, actually. The classic symptoms is sudden onset of fever, chills, body aches, and then dry cough. <laughs> but when you know the symptoms... People can sometimes mark the very time. It was at 2 o'clock, I was out playing golf, and then all of a sudden I just felt terrible. <coughs> Protection from the flu can be just a sniff, whiff, or swallow away. Cost may be a factor when choosing between an inhaled or injected vaccine. Flu mist can cost anywhere from $50 to $70 a dose, whereas a shot is usually just $10.